So I'm on a real number thing at the moment. They're they're pretty pretty cool things. Now something really interesting are irrational numbers, and everyone knows the big ones. You know, pi, e, the square root of five. There's a few more, and today we're going to talk about one of the very famous irrational numbers. That's the square root of two. Now I won't talk about the mathematical implications of these numbers because you know I'm not a mathematician. But I'm a lonely guy on the internet who knows a lot of stories. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you a story about one of the times we discovered Root 2. Now, we've known about Root 2 for a very long time, since Babylon, almost 4,000 years. I mean, look at this approximation of Root 2 in base 60. I mean, these aren't Arabic numbers, so they could be anything to me. Unless you can read Babylonian cuneiform, in which case... Well done. Good for you. Today, instead, we are going to talk about the time the Greeks discovered it. So in ancient Greece, you may have heard of this guy called Pythagoras. Pretty big. You know, he invented the triangle. So Pythagoras' theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If you have a right angle triangle where A equals 3, B equals 4, and C equals 5. This is because A squared equals 9, B squared equals 16, and C squared equals 25, which is 9 plus 16. You get that? That was his big thing. The Pythagoreans also believed that every number was a whole number or could be displayed as a ratio of two whole numbers. So these are numbers like one, half, 16, you know, that sort of thing. I do love 16, what a lovely number. It's four to the power two and two to the power four. That's, oh, that's rad, that's mwah, chef's kiss, you know what I mean? So anyway, this guy, Hippasus, comes in one day and presents to his friends a triangle, a simple right angle triangle with two sides having unit length one, and those sides being at right angles to each other. That would make them A and B. You will find then that the hypotenuse, that's this side here, side C being the root of the sum of the square of the other two sides would make it equal the square root of one squared plus one squared, which for those of you that can't work it out means that C is equal to the square root of two. Nothing scary, right? Wrong. The issue is that you can't display root two as a fraction. It is irrational, and the Pythagoreans didn't think that was possible. Now, in modern times, we would test this over and over and see if it was true, which it is. And since it is true, we would rethink our current understanding of mathematics. Back in those days, however, things were a little bit different. They killed Hipparchus. Some say they took him out to sea and didn't bring him back. Others say they mauled him on the spot. But you know, these semi-mythical stories get crazy over the years, you know. The other thing they did, which we know is true, is that they kept the number a closely guarded secret. They told no one about it. Other cultures had it, but this would remain hidden within Greek society for years. Whether they killed him or not, this number was hidden from the Greeks. This is one of my favorite stories about maths. There's another one about Pythagoras' death, which I do also quite enjoy. Um, but we'll cover that another day. What's your favourite mathematical story? Let me know in the comments below. That's the story of how the Greeks discovered Route 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you like this video, like, comment and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. And follow my socials in the description, along with my subreddit and the Mythology Multiverse Discord. My TIL vids is down there too if you're on YouTube. And my YouTube if you're on TIL. And as always, I will see you next week, babies.